Good morning, everybody. It is day number, full day number two here in Vegas. My name is Carson. My wife's name is Sammy, and we are the complete couple. And she is right there getting ready, putting her shoes on. So we are going to do something today that I've never done in Vegas. Uh, we are going to go down to the Arts District. And I've never been there, so we're going to go check it out. We're going to go take you guys through. I guess there's some restaurants down there, some things to do. So we are going to go check out the Arts District today and just go walk around Vegas. Other than that, we've got uh, dinner reservations. We've got another show tonight. We're gonna go see the brand new, I think it's what, the Big Apple, the, the new Cirque show um, over at New York, New York. We were there yesterday, but we'll probably head to a different casino tonight uh, after that. So we're gonna take you guys along for that and uh, we'll see you guys later today. Basically, the whole plants got shot. Came down to the Arts District. It's wanted cool. Wanted to go to Makers and Finders. Yeah, wanted to go to Makers and Finders. Hour and a half wait because they were short staffed. Yeah. And then we wanted to get food. Didn't really find any other food to eat other than maybe a pizza, slice of pizza. There's not. It's barbecue. Barbecue. So now we are just going to head towards the Strat. the Strat and maybe get food there. Other than the hour and a half wait at the restaurant, there was nobody on the streets doing anything. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the shops were closed. Not quite sure where it was filmed, but it says it was filmed here. Here's the new uh, sign they erected right by the Strat. It's pretty cool. I think I was reading they spent like six million dollars or something on it. Could be wrong. So after going everywhere, we have now determined I'm gonna get a slice of pizza. And Sammy got a little snack tray. This is our second time up this escalator because we can't figure out where this pizza place is. Supposedly it's up here. There's the pizza. It actually looks pretty good. All right, so got a piece of pizza, got some food in our stomach, and now we are just walking upstairs here where the escalator was in the Strat. They got a whole arcade up here, and they turned it, it's like Halloween themed. I literally they took, put up Halloween decorations and then never, ever took them down. I mean, look at that. This place is kind of creepy. This has got to be one of the most deserted, Weird. Bizarre hotels. What is that, babe? World's largest. They say it's the shop. world's the world. largest gift shop. I'm not sure about that, but maybe. Here is Sahara's. I've never been on this side. Yeah, we've never been over here, so we're checking it all out. So we'll see how it goes. What is up, guys? So we haven't done too much filming today. Day hasn't necessarily gone as planned. Um, I'd say the Arts District, we didn't do anything there. Strat, there wasn't really much to film. We didn't go up into the Strat or anything like that. We just walked around, it was kind of bare. Then we went over to, what, Sahara. Oh, okay. Actually, pretty, uh, we liked that casino, it was nice. And then we just headed back to the Aria and kind of relaxed for a bit. And now we are all dressed and ready for dinner. We're gonna go to an Italian restaurant. We're gonna take you guys along for that. And then we've got a show tonight, so we're gonna show you some highlights for that. So uh, maybe we'll get some nice footage in this evening for you guys to enjoy, show you a little bit more of Vegas, what to expect. Listen, buy the beer on the strip. I know this sounds crazy, they sell these on the strip out of a cooler, two for five dollars. And it's ice freaking cold. So buy them on the strip. This is actually one place I've never once been in Vegas. I've been here five times and I've never been in the form shops. It looks beautiful though. Really pretty. All right, so this is where we are going for dinner. Brand new. Brand new. It's supposed to be really amazing. There's so, another one somewhere else, I think in California, and they just moved one over. We're excited. RPM Italian. Look at how pretty it looks out front. All right, so we just I'm got so set. Hungry. We just got set. Sammy's starving. She hasn't eaten all day. We sat on the patio. We had a booth, but we thought this was so cute. So we found out this has been open one month. They have four other locations. Yeah. And uh, the food just looks great. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, so just to fill you in, it turns out what they said is you should do Family a couple appetiz style. appetizers. You should do maybe one or two pastas. They say it's, it's not a ton of food, but it's not a little food either. So we're gonna start with the prosciutto service, and then we're also gonna start with the uh, bruschetta, yep. and then we're gonna do a meatballs. Where did that go? Yeah, the prime beef meatballs right there. 
I think we're going to do two pastas. I'm going to do the main lobster pasta. I don't know what Sammy's going to do yet. Carbonara. But we will show you guys everything when it comes. They don't have Michelob Ultra here, which is devastating. They only have Italian beers. So I'm doing a, a Peroni, which is a little, not what I would normally go for. But hey, you got to make sacrifices. Also, make sure you bring chapstick because my lips are freaking destroyed. I've been having to use Sammy's chapstick. This is the worst it's ever been. Five times I've been in Vegas. It's the first worst test I've ever my, been. My skin's dry. I mean, they are so chapped, it's not even funny. So bring chapstick if you're coming to Vegas. So here's the bruschetta. The bruschetta. The bruschetta is right to there. My Peroni beer. Let me taste it. They didn't even fill it all the way. Kind of disappointed about that. I haven't had a single sip of this. It's good tomatoes. Yep, tastes like a Peroni. And there's Sammy's wine. What do you think? I don't know what that is, but it's amazing. Alright, try another bite. Mm. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I can't you wait. You will love it. It's not like a normal bruschetta. It's almost like a top and on bruschetta. Does that make sense? Oh my god, I'm excited. Wow, so here's the prosciutto service. By the way, that bruschetta is absolutely incredible. It's like 600 days. So 600 day dry aged, aged or something. Think, yeah. Oh, here you go. 600 day aged. Look how beautiful that looks. So let me be honest, that right there, the prosciutto, I'm a prosciutto eater, eater the some of the I've best ever I've ever had. Yeah. They just brought our meatballs. There's the meatballs, they look beautiful. Every food piece so far has been amazing. This? It, you don't have to chew it, honestly. You really don't have to chew it. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, There's not been a bad thing here, honestly. No. Incredible. Yeah. All right, we're gonna break this yolk. Oh, that looks so awesome. And then we mix this guy in. Hot and just cooks it right into it. Wow. It's the main lobster. This one is the little bit more expensive one. This is the this one's 60. But I got it non-spicy. So we're gonna test that out. Look how beautiful that looks. They mix it table side. Look at that. Look at that skill. Is it good? Sammy loves real carbonara. You don't ever find it anymore. That's fantastic. Oh, it looks good. You're right. It is real pasta. It's like al dente. It's al dente. So this is the lobster. They cut it for you, pre-cut it for you. Let's try that. A little bit of lemon. A lot of lemon. Good though. Here's the bill. I honestly think it was a bargain for the price. Our food was absolutely fantastic, so I would definitely come back. So we just left RPM. RPM. It, the bill was 200 plus tip. We got three appetizers, three two apps. glass of wine, two beers, and two coffee. Yeah. And, and you got the specialty pasta. And I got the specialty half lobster pasta, and it, the food was fantastic. Yeah. Oh, look, we're going to stop in here and buy a beer because, again, it's going to be a much a better bargain. Right when we walked into the Mirage, again, stop there and get your drink. But uh, way worth the price. So much better than really dinner last out. night. I would go back and then just all around way better. So yeah. totally recommend. Yeah. Alright, so we stopped off at Mirage. They killed us there. We lost like Oh my god, horrible. I think we don't we didn't went on a single slot machine, yeah, we lost like five hundred dollars there. So now we just pulled back into New York, New York. We're gonna go see the brand new Mad Apple Cirque show and uh, we'll show you how it is. Just left Mad Apple. So good. Hey, I would say Sammy said it best. I would say it's a mix between absinthe and a Cirque show. It was probably the best Cirque show we've ever seen. In a long time. Yeah, in a long time. Fantastic. 
Uh, definitely more adult orientated. If you have kids under, I don't know, no, I 16, 16 17, I wouldn't bring them. Yeah. But fantastic show. So another one I recommend. I don't know if it beats yesterday's show. I don't know. It's close for me. Sammy liked it. I think yesterday's yeah, show's really a little ahead it. for me, but it was a, it was a great show. So another good one. Definitely the best Cirque, Cirque show oh, I've ever yeah. seen. Though. Go to that one before the other. Yeah, if you're gonna go to one, go to that one. What do you think about Apple? I really liked it. It was a lot of different acts, but they were all really good. Yeah, they were really good. Mm -hmm. Waiting for a taxi. Here it comes. I'm telling you, so we just got out of our taxi. It was $8.80 to go from... Pretty far. I mean, it New wasn't... New York to yeah, Planet Hollywood. New York to Hollywood. The, the Uber was going to be like $11, so... But I realized, if, as long as you stay just on the main strip, you're not going very far, it's just... And the best thing about the taxis is you walk right out the front door, and right they're they're right there for you, so you're not having to find the Uber or Lyft pickup. Yeah. So, but remember, you got to bring cash because if yeah. you have to use credit card, they charge you a three dollar yeah. fee. So make sure if you're going to take a taxi, you bring cash. But if you're willing to do that, it's the same price and faster, maybe even three or four bucks more. But the time convenience is is way better. Calling it a night, ending here at uh, Planet, Hollywood. Planet Hollywood. I was down like 700 today. Sammy just somehow won 700 on $50 blackjack. She was killing it, hitting everything. <laughs> um, staying on 16s and the dealer busting. It, it went away. So we are calling it a night. We'll see you guys tomorrow.